movie starts with three sisters playing with a bouncy ball while singing a deranged lullaby about a blue bird. The bouncy ball bounces away, and the older daughter Marsha leaves the middle child, let's call her Jan, and the baby sister, Abby. Abby gets kidnapped, and the sisters are in big trouble. Flash to grown-up sister, Maddie, not Marsha. She wakes up from a nightmare about when Abby was kidnapped as a child, Maddie calls her sister Olivia to remind her that it is the day of Abby's kidnapping. Maddie works in journalism and is working on a story about a serial killer who targets blondes. Maddie and Oliva both happen to be blondes. Maddie doesn't get approval from her boss and works the story with her co-worker Kyle. Olivia gets attacked while in the shower, but she manages to get away. Olivia calls the cops and texts her sister Bluebird emojis. The symbol for trouble. Olivia relies on her sister a lot and agrees when Maddie asks her sister to move in with her for safety. Maddie also asks Olivia to take self-defense classes. In self-defense class, a hot instructor Hayden, iconic Lifetime actor Rib Hillis, takes a liking to Olivia and asks her to knee him in the crotch repeatedly. It's love at first groin bashing. Maddie continues to work on her story and gets notifications from dating apps from loser guys on seekanddate.com. A creepy dating site name, but not far off from the online dating experience, TBH. Olivia has Maddie join her in self-defense class, and Maddie goes in hard with the questions. She basically interrogates him about where he is from and how he got into self-defense. He takes out some aggression on Maddie, using her in a demo and injuring her wrist. It's not a great first meeting. Maddie is left home alone, while Olivia spends more and more time with Hayden outside of class. She meets up with Jack from the dating app and has sex with him in the bathroom. After her hookup, Maddie comes home and finds her sister and Hayden covered in blood? It is not what you think. Like, seriously, how could you think of this? They hit a deer on their way to a night hike and move the animal's body to Hayden's garage. Maddie is horrified and judges her sister for going out alone with a strange man in the woods. Olivia goes on dates with Hayden, and she recounts stories of when Maddie was overprotective of the guy she dated. Hayden admits that he found Maddie in the back room of his studio snooping around. Olivia continues to explain about their sister's kidnapping and murder. Hayden is supportive and tells Olivia he wants to understand her and her sister's behavior. The next day Olivia tells Maddie that she is overstepping. Maddie says she doesn't trust Hayden or any man. The sisters argue about Abby and Olivia moving back into her apartment. Frustrated and alone, Maddie meets up with Jack for another bathroom hump session. He ruins the mood by busting out the handcuffs and joking about stealing her away. Maddie leaves upset. In the middle of the night, a hooded figure breaks into Maddie's house and steals her designer purse. Then the intruder breaks into the garage, starts the car, and blares the horn. When Maddie goes to investigate, she sees her purse locked in the car, and while she distractedly tries to get into the garage, she is locked in a CO2 trap. Maddie shouted for help. She collapses on the ground, and a neighbor finds her and saves Maddie. The police investigate and ask her if she tried to kill herself. Olivia and Hayden rush to help Maddie. He couldn't be the intruder because he was with Olivia all night. Maddie pretends to be on board with the new lovers. She even takes pictures of Hayden and Olivia together at the dinner table. It appears to be all good until Hayden knocks Maddie's phone into the sink while doing the dishes. Kyle looks into Hayden's background for Maddie. He finds something and calls Maddie to meet him. Before they can meet, the intruder stabs Kyle with scissors. The hooded figure is Hayden, and Kyle found an article about Hayden's previous murder charges. Maddie finds the body and talks with a female detective. They have no leads, and the evidence Kyle found was destroyed. When the detective's partner joins them, Maddie is surprised to see Jack from the bathroom sex is also working on the case. Maddie tells them about her suspicions about Hayden. Jack talks with Maddie off the record and tells her that he is off the case. He tells her to lawyer up because all of the evidence points to her as Kyle's murderer. The scissors were hers and Hayden has an alibi again. 
then they make out. Hayden takes Olivia on a road trip but kills the landlord and destroys Olivia's phone before leaving. When Olivia realizes she forgot her phone, she wants to go back, but Hayden explodes on her for being unable to disconnect. When they stop at a gas station, Hayden forces Olivia to come into the store with him, and she realizes she is in trouble when the store clerk calls Hayden David. Olivia goes to the bathroom and writes for help on a paper towel, and gives it to the store clerk. The clerk calls Maddie, who is already freaking out because she found the landlord's body. She rushes to help Olivia and calls Jack to tell him about Hayden being a serial killer who targets blonde women. Maddie tracks down where Hayden lives when she talks with the store clerk. Olivia puts some of her defense moves to work and knees Hayden in the face. She tries to run away, but he pulls a gun on her and tells Olivia to enjoy her new home. Then he locks her in the attic with a duffel bag of bones. While enjoying a nice dinner, Hayden hears Maddie trying to sneak into the house. The sisters fight off Hayden, and he beats them both very badly. When the sisters come to, Olivia finds herself locked in the attic. Maddie is surprised to see Jack arriving to save them, but Hayden shoots him. Hayden ties Maddie up and tells her that he will move on with Olivia and then reconsiders and wants both of them to bear his children. Olivia breaks free and shoots Hayden dead. Maddie finally writes her story and starts dating Jack. They can talk about murder cases all they want together.